right, so what are we doing? We're out in the field here, but I don't see any targets or any baskets. Well, see, that's the thing, is like sometimes you don't have a Frisbee golf course that's accessible, so you can just kind of make up your own course, and so that's what we'll do. You just go to a, you know, an open space or an open park. Um, sometimes football fields or bat, uh, mm -hmm. baseball fields work well, and uh, you just make up your own hole. Actually, there's somebody out here playing with the Frisbee. Hey, come over. Hey, what's your name? Mackenzie. Hi, Mackenzie. Um, I'm Dave. This is Ruby, and we're playing, Hi. we're playing some frisbee golf. I see you got a frisbee here. Nice. That's a, like a ultimate frisbee or a, a kind of a play catch frisbee. Do you want to uh, play play disc golf with us, and we'll get you some disc golf discs, so you can play a hole with us? All awesome. Right. So I just learned, but have you played before? Yeah, once. Once. Cool. This is um, got a mini disc in there, and a putter, and a mid range, and a driver. So everything you need to get started. There yeah. you go. Good to go. And so we're gonna put up a hole somewhere. Let's see. What do we do? How about that cone right there? Yeah, we can use the cone. That's a great Perfect. idea. So I'm just gonna make a little makeshift tee right here, where you tee off between those two discs. Do you want to go first? No, you go first. Okay. <laughs> Let's give this a try. Not bad in that direction. Your turn. All right, good job. Okay, so I think this is your disc, right? Okay, so go ahead and put your marker down. And this brings up a really good, um, a really good thing about etiquette, which is the furthest one from the target throws first and everybody's got to make sure that they give the person that's throwing plenty of room and we're supposed to be kind of quiet because it's golf and you don't want to do anything to distract Mackenzie. Okay. <laughs> so mark your disc Mackenzie and uh, give it give it a throw. All right. Good shot. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, the wind took it. That wind. Oh, wow. good job. And that's it. Woohoo! All right, Mackenzie, you finish out the hole. Get up there. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, well, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, it definitely was. It's nice to know that you can set up a little course somewhere, you know, when you don't have access to a real course and still have a lot of fun. All right, well, I'm pretty confident now. I've got some practice in. I think I'm ready to go back to a real frisbee golf course. Awesome. It was nice to meet you, Mackenzie. You too. Oh, thanks for this frisbee. Hey, no problem. Nice to meet you. Don't forget this one. Yeah. All, right, All right, bye. See you later. Okay, well, I said I was ready to get back on the real Frisbee golf course, but what do we have here? Well, actually, this is hole 18 at Berkeley. It's the finishing hole, and it's a pretty tough hole. Um, the basket's right over next to the tree across the lake. Okay, so I'm not mistaken. It's over the water. It's actually right. over the water. Well, yeah. I said I was feeling more confident. I didn't say I thought it was a pro yet, Dave. Well, you know, that's the that's great thing. It's because you, you can go over the water, but then you can also play around the tree for safety if you don't want to you know, risk losing your discs. All right, that's what I'll be doing, but I know we have some other people that are joining us now, and who do we have here? Uh, here we have Josh, and he's a local pro and throws a lot of forehand shots. So remember how all of our shots were going off to the left because we were throwing right-handed backhand? So basically, it's, it's the opposite. What you really want here on this hole is to be a left-hander. But since I'm not a left-hander, you're not one, you're not one, Josh isn't one either, but what he does is he throws a forehand, which actually turns you in to a left-handed thrower because it has the same angle. He, he sends it out to the left and then it comes back to the right. All right, sounds impressive. Yeah, and then we have Scott, who uh, is a local straggler here, and he's an old-time ultimate yeah. player, and he plays with an ultimate disc. Okay, old school. Yeah. Are, you, are you sure you don't, you want to you want a disc golf starter set? Um, no, this is fine. I okay. always play with this. Okay, I you stick fine. with that. Scott's yeah. gonna go ahead with the ultimate, yeah. so we'll see how that goes. All right. You guys ready We're to, good give, to go it, then, give it right? a run? Yep. All right. All right. First, we got Josh coming up, and I think he's gonna throw that forehand shot that we were talking about. All right. So he's lining up his shot. He checked okay. the win. There it goes. And look at that. Oh, nice. Right there. Right next to it. Okay, next we got Scott, the old time ultimate player on the team. Oh, you know, maybe I should try one of those. Well, oh, I've got actually one of the kits right here. 
And uh, here you go. I think you might have a little better success because these are weighted a little bit more and they go a little bit further. The best disc for this would be the turnover driver for this shot. You know, once you learn how to throw them, they, they go a lot further. So oh. Why don't you give that one a try, that blue one, and okay. give it a rip and see how it goes. Thanks, Dave. Yep. Oh, I made it over. You did. That's amazing. Yeah, they uh, they go a lot farther. Okay, Dave, now, I don't think I can throw it over the water yet. Remember, I just started today. So right. What so, do I do? So what you want to do so you don't lose your disc okay. is that instead of aiming towards the water over this way, remember your disc goes left. Okay. So you actually want to try to hit somewhere in this area over there, which okay. means you kind of got to aim it over in this way, and then it's going to come back. Remember how they were going from right to left? Okay. So make sure you get a nice grip on the disc and then kind of send it down that way. And remember, rip it across your body and aim it down that so way. So a lot more to the right. A lot so more to the right. The left. Okay. So right, you really want to be aiming right in that direction so that you land over there and then you can play around the side. Okay, so, so going around the tree. Yep, give All it a right. rip. All right, let me try. Good, safe. Ooh, I don't You're know safe. that we're going to be able to retrieve that. That's okay, you'll be able to get it. The geese saw me throw and they're all running for cover now. Whoa. Oh, nice. Oh my gosh, that was really good. Well, thank you. All right, how did you do that? Well, I threw the turnover driver and it turned over perfect. So, and a little practice. All right. It's not too bad. It's not in the water. So you want to come back, put your bag down over here. All right. And I think you're going to want to use the same disc so you get your mini. Okay, so what you have here is you've got this stuff all behind you. I've so you've got, got to, nowhere to move. Yeah, you've got to really make sure that you have a good stance here. So make sure that your footing is good because you got to you got to get a good stance and a good grip. Great shot. It did it go in the tree. Okay, so Scott would be the furthest out from here, so obviously he would be going first, so we all, all right. need to kind of stay back and let him take his putt. Ah, again with the etiquette. Oh, so I suspect Scott has, he has a forehand kind of putt, so I would suspect that he's probably going to try to forehand it around the other side of the tree to get it in. Oh, wow. And if you notice, he's taking kind of a straddle stance. Good, good way to go. Good job. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Good. Woo! All right, finally. All right, so that was a pretty good game. Yeah, that was uh, that was awesome. I think you learned a little bit about the uh, the new golf discs, and uh, Josh, you had a great shot there. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, thank, thank you. So much for the oh, you're welcome. You guys have a great one. Good to talk with you, and good playing. All right, we'll see you guys next time.